Delarine Saisi Wasike, the toddler rescued from the collapsed building in Huruma four days after the incident, was this morning released to her father from the Kenyatta National Hospital. The baby was hospitalized two weeks ago and had been receiving treatment following the tragedy which claimed her mother. According to the designated incident commander Pius Masai, the baby is in good health and the hospital bill, which amounted to 30,000 shillings, was taken care of by Nairobi Senator Michael Sonko. Because of community support, when I was told that the baby had been discharged, I approached Honorable Mike Sonko about the issue. And because it's, be, it's being a weekend, uh, other procedures uh, would have delayed the process of uh, taking this paper away from the hospital to home. So I requested him and he, he, uh, he, uh, uh, he accepted to meet the appeal of this baby. He has paid uh, almost 30,000 Kenya shillings as a bill. And the same, uh, he has taken transport measures to the community uh, also from here, he's going to do some shopping for this baby so that this baby's life continues comfortably. And I thank him for that. Her father expressed his joy at being formally united with his daughter and says that now he'll be looking for accommodation to enable them to start a new life. I'm going to be happy with my wife. My wife is going to be here with my wife. There are people who are going to be here with me, but lakini kwa bahati ya Mungu wangu alifaulu mimi narudishia, narudishia Mungu shukurani na naambia wa Kenya please nimepewa mtoto msipanic kwa sababu wale before pengine tulikuwa na wasiwasi lakini kwa sasa hivi nimepewa she's here na ebu salimia wenza wa Kenya salimia wa Kenya <laughs> okay okay Delarine was found dehydrated but without visible physical injuries 80 hours after the seven-story block collapsed during heavy rains, killing 51 people. Margaret Wahito for Capital TV.